We shouldn't be looking at this. Nope. Because it should never have happened yet. Nope. Alice O'Leary and her daughter Kelly pour over the names of friends and family who came to their loved one's celebration of life. An honor to be here today celebrating your dad. You were an amazing daughter. Ken O'Leary died last February after developing a deep bed sore at the base of his spine, a skin injury due to prolonged pressure on one spot. It developed after he was admitted to this Southern Ontario hospital to help sort out some medications. When they rolled him over so that I could see this wound and they had to take his brief down and, you know, this is my dad. I Anyhow, and I saw this gaping hole and his grimacing face from pain, it was heartbreaking, heartbreaking. It was so big and so open. A wound she describes as the size of an avocado. So deep it went right to the bone. But while it worsened, no hospital staff told his family for weeks. Had I known, oh my God, we would have been on top of it right from the beginning. So why wait? three weeks to tell us when it's to the point where it's the point of no return. That I will never get. Bob Wilson died after months in the same hospital three years earlier. He'd been admitted for a brain injury, but developed a bed sore that grew to the size of a football on his lower back. His family unaware for months. We were heartbroken and we were shocked. I, the amount of emotions that went through us was unbelievable because we were never told and we were there every day. After her father died, Moss joined the board of Wounds Canada and now speaks out about how to prevent pressure injuries. With every tragedy, there's a lesson learned. How do we learn from this and how do we make sure other families are armed with this information? The number of pressure injuries acquired each year while in hospital is climbing steadily. Figures wound experts say are vastly underreported and largely due to the chronic nursing shortage, meaning no time to regularly reposition bed-bound patients, critical to prevent bed sores. Nurses have been sounding the, the alarm for years saying, we're, we're, we're strapped here, we need help. And now, unfortunately, things are really coming to a head and we're starting to really see the, the fallout from that. A spokesperson for Joseph Rand Hospital declined an interview request, but did say Ken O'Leary's case underscored the importance of clearly communicating with families. Families we spoke to said that's exactly what they want. And for hospitals to have enough staff to head off the problem in the first place. Erica Johnson, CBC News, Vancouver.